Hi, Ronald Chili here, and I realise it's been almost two weeks since my last video, so uh, I've been a bit slack, so this is a quick update on the Big E, where, I've, where it's at so far. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say um, a big thanks to all my new subscribers, and to, well, all my current subscribers as well. I'm up to almost 30 subscribers now, so that's kind of exceeded my expectations, and yeah, so I'm really glad you guys are enjoying the videos and more I want to see more. So uh, I hope to keep you informed and updated of all my builds and projects in the future. So yeah, thanks again for uh, for all the support. But yeah, so uh, back onto the Enterprise. The um, first thing you may notice since the last update is I've painted all of the uh, the tie downs, all the little white spots, um, which is something I sort of wasn't sure about in the past, like all the photos that I used to research the Enterprise, you could never see all the dots, and I kind of realised that it's basically because the photos are from so far away that the dots just tend to disappear. But when all the video footage I've seen of people on the flight deck, you can sort of clearly see the, the tie downs are highlighted with a sort of a lighter grey or a white paint. So. I've just used a really light grey here, uh, I've thinned down quite a lot so it didn't stand out too much against the weathering. So I've kind of done it in back to front, I've done the weathering and now I've done all the tie down spots so. So yeah I don't think I'll do much more to the deck now. Um, I mean they are technically holes so I think the weathering would affect them a bit less than other bits of the deck but if that makes any sense. So yeah, so um, from a distance they sort of blend into the deck and sort of start to disappear, so I think I've sort of largely achieved the effect that I was going for. And yeah, um, also may notice some more aircraft on the deck, so these are the Trumpeter uh, extra jets you can buy in packs of six. So I've got their two-seater Super Hornet, which is the F version, I think. And you can see it's got the fuel tanks and extra pylons under the wing, so some really nice detail there. And also built a single seater Super Hornet on the right there. Um, oh by the way that one's, if it's not already obvious, that one's moulded in transparent plastic just so you can um, mask the canopy and then paint it and then take the mask off and you have a clear canopy. Whereas this version of the Hornet, it's, um, the canopy is a separate clear piece, so that will be attached once it's painted. And interestingly, the, um, the single-seater Hornets, the wingtips are a separate part, so you can either attach them down or in the, f the folded position. Whereas the two-seater version, they're just moulded flat, so I'll have one or two of the, the uh, wingtips down, and then the rest will, you just have to cut, or have to cut the wingtips off. And then put them in the folded position. But yeah, so I've just been building a, a few aircraft just to test how it's going. So I've got a, a Seahawk there, minus the rotor. And a few trucks, so I've got the crash trucks in yellow. They need a detail in. A crane there with the missing wheels and all the tow trucks, which obviously need a bit more paintwork. Yeah, so what else I've done, I've repainted all the life rafts to a light grey, so that matches more to a sort of more modern version of the Enterprise, whereas the kit tells you to paint them white, and that's what I did. But they, I think they stood out a bit too much, so I've repainted them all light grey. And I've finally attached all the tie downs, oh, sorry, the, um, the reels, the hose reels, so they're in both sides now. And I finally gave in and bought the photo etch, well, ordered the photo etch set from eBay. So that should be coming within the next week or two. Uh, the photo etch does come with a uh, photo etch mesh for the, uh, the sort of safety nets on the side of the, the deck, but I think it's probably too late to replace those now. All these are molded as part of the deck, so they'll all have to be cut off. 
I think that'll be too difficult now with it all glued down, so probably just leave those as is. And the front of which will just be used for the handrails, especially all down the side of the hull, like these parts near the back. We'll all need handrails and all the areas under the ship. Get some lights. So that'll be a nice bit of detail added. And for the island, I'll replace all of these handmade handrails. So they've all just been stuck down with PVA glue, so hopefully they'll just be easy enough to pull off and replace with proper photo etch ones. And also be photo etch radar, the, uh, the back one and the front one. So it'll be uh, really nicely detailed. Once those go in. And I oh yeah, also bought, well ordered, um, some resin, a resin set of phalanx guns here. So there's um there's a lot of really nice extra detail on the resin sets, and a little bit of photo etch as well. So they replace the three guns that I've got on here so far, and uh, yeah, it'll add even more detail and richness to the kit. Which I found to be pretty lacking, the uh, the bare bones kit, which I've kind of moaned about before, but it's just uh, one of those things really. I kind of wanted to get it looking sort of as best as I can really. And unfortunately that involves spending a bit of extra money, but you know, it's uh, it'll be worth it in the end. So yeah, so that's it for now, it's getting there slowly but surely. I haven't really done that much modelling in the last two weeks, um, apart from this. The uh, striker, I've done the wheels and the suspension and that's just going to be put on hold for now. I think I'll uh, just sort of work on the Enterprise until it's done. I've uh, got uh, quite a bit of an, uh, motivation and enthusiasm back for the, the big old E, so hopefully this will be done. Um, and complete fairly soonish. But yeah, so um, again, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And um, until next, uh, <coughs> sorry, until next time, I'll uh, catch you later.